Hi, I'm Jay of Inkblot Films, and today I'm going to talk to you about a recently released film, Under the Skin, and how it's basically exactly the same as the 1995 horror film, Species. So, Under the Skin, the 2014 film which was recently released on Blu-ray and DVD uh, by Jonathan Glazer, who did Sexy Beast, which is amazing, and Birth, which was ill-fated and slightly slow and rubbish. It's got Scarlett Johansson in it, and she's actually genuinely really good, and a bunch of nobodies who aren't proper actors. It's absolutely fantastic. I watched it was weirded out and blown away for the whole film, especially the ending, which was insane. And then I realised about half an hour after it that it's basically the same story as Species, the 1995 horror film um, directed by Roger Donaldson, who also did Cocktail and Dante's Peak. She escaped. We have a serious emergency on our hands. Now, even though they're not exactly the same story, and they are very, very similar. Uh, Species is a film where an alien comes down to Earth takes the form of a sexy lady and then starts creeping on loads of men with some strange intent of having a baby, an alien baby. Um, Under the Skin is a film where aliens come down, uh, one takes the form of a sexy lady and then starts creeping on loads of men as they go into black goo and they get sucked out of their skin. So you live alone? Yes. You think I'm pretty? Well, I know, gorgeous. Now, where Species 1 was it had an incredible light design of an alien by H.R. Giger, and you're always onto a winner when he does that. Um, but it was also very Hollywood, very commercial, and just a normal bog standard film. Oh! She's here! But under the skin one is it was very documentary style of filmmaking. It didn't have a style, um, unlike Sexy Beast, which was very, very over stylized and brilliant for it. Now, as an Englishman, I found it quite weird seeing places like Foot Locker, Next, MS, Tesco on the screen because I thought I was in some sort of BBC documentary drama instead of realizing that Scarlett Johansson is an A list celebrity. That weirded me out a bit, but it was absolutely brilliant. Where the film started to take off was when the alien begins to start to feel things, when she starts to change and her character has a bit of an arc, and that's always really interesting. Um, I found Species, even though I haven't seen it for many, many years, nobody has any character and there is no arc. Um, the gradual humanisation of an alien character is basically where you're always going to win in any kind of story. Um, the same thing happened with The Man Who Fell to Earth, with David Bowie. No! No! Tell me I love you! So what was great about it is that it didn't explain anything. It keeps you watching, it keeps you guessing, and you have to keep thinking over days and days and weeks and weeks exactly what just happened, what you just saw. You do get to see the alien, you do get to see some weird stuff, but it's just not that Hollywood, and I think that's what makes it so good. <laughs> Don't want to wake up, do you? Now, the interesting thing about Under the Skin, other than the fact that it's a really weird film that doesn't really explain anything, um, is it's actually based on a book uh, by Michael Faber, which is written in the year 2000, which means that Michael Faber may have actually got the idea from Species from 1995. Um, I actually think it's a really good idea to remake films, especially if you don't call them the same thing and nobody really knows. Now, we all know that certain films like Infernal Affairs were remade into The Departed, Yo Jimbo became The Fistful of Dollars, Omega Man became I Am Legend, and Open Your Eyes was very quickly made into Vanilla Sky. But my question to all you guys is, if you could subtly remake a film, what would you remake? So, thanks for listening to me babble on about films. I'm a massive nerd, so I'm going to be doing this quite a lot. Um, stay tuned to our channel. Uh, check out inkblockfilms.co.uk, and I'll see you next time for my next video.